In this tutorial, we will start by taking an overview of the voicemail. There are several ways to check your voicemail, including through the phone, through the communicator, and even through Outlook. In preparation for this tutorial, we have already left ourselves a voice message. You can see that on the telephone, from the red flashing indicator light, as well as the notification on the screen. You can also view it on your communicator under the voicemail window. If you're using the Outlook integration, the voicemail will also show in Outlook as your incoming emails do. From there, you can double click the voice message and you'll see a player window open, allowing you to listen to your voicemail. The message can also be played from the communicator by selecting the message and pressing the play button. Once you are finished with the voicemail, you can click delete and you will see in the communicator that there is a deleted message directory. This directory holds these deleted messages until approximately 2 in the morning, allowing you a grace period to retrieve those messages if you deleted them by mistake. You can do this in the communicator by simply right-clicking the message and then selecting Move to Inbox folder or Move to Saved folder. If you notice in the communicator, a nice feature is the slide bar. The slide bar allows you to skip to a particular section of the voicemail and listen to the message from there, as opposed to having to start the message over again. To check your voicemail from the phone, you'll press the voicemail key, which will prompt you to enter in your password, followed by pound. By default, the password is 1234. So if we wanted to listen to our message, we could press 1 from here. A nice feature of the Shortel system is how easy it is to forward messages to other users. So to do this, you select the voicemail and press forward. You can do this both from the communicator as well as from Outlook. Once we click forward, we see a window pop up. From here, we can type in the user we want to send the message to. We can also choose to mark this message urgent as a private message, which restricts the message to the persons we are forwarding it to, or have a return receipt, notifying us that they have received the message. At the bottom of the window, you will see a record button. This allows us to record an introductory message to let the user receiving the forward know why we are forwarding the voicemail. Call history can be done a couple of different ways on the Shortel system. One way is through the phone, using the redial key. Redial on the Shortel works a little different than simply redialing the last number that was dialed. On the bottom right of your Shortel phone, you will see a redial key. When the redial key is pressed, it will display a list of the last 20 calls that came through your phone. This list will include calls made, calls received, as well as missed calls. The other way history can be retrieved is from the Shortel communicator. In the communicator, you can access your call history by opening up the history window. This list of calls will show the last 1,000 calls, not just 20. Of course, if I wanted to return a call to someone in the history, for example, a missed call, all I have to do is simply double-click a call to dial that person. Another benefit of the history on the communicator is the ability of adding numbers to your Outlook contacts. So if I wanted to add this caller to my contacts, I can right-click this call here. If you notice, I have the option to add or modify an Outlook contact to include this number. When we click this option, it opens up a contact form for this person and we can modify the contact from there. The number will automatically fill in the business number field, but of course you can always cut and paste that into another number field if needed. Once we save the contact, we will now be able to view the name that corresponds to that number in the communicator and on your Shortel phone. This concludes Lesson 4. For more information, please view our other video tutorials or view the user guides at www.sonoranintegrations.com slash docs.html.